What's up guys? Welcome back to Modded Rimworld where everyone is grumpy and sick and that's not good. It's not good at all. We still have walls that need to get fixed. We have lots of food that's just dying outside. Uh, we need things to get built. I should have a, a beacon planted somewhere down here. At least at least a blueprint. There it is right there. thought that was a bush. It's a pretty convincing bush when I'm zoomed out and it's nighttime. Uh, but I guess at least we got the outdoor light up. Uh, we're not dead currently. We are we are one puck down, unfortunately. Uh, our hen's still okay, which is pretty solid. We have these guys visiting, I suppose. You know what? Let's try to recruit one of them. Uh, how actually? How much are they gonna get grumps? They're already at negative thirty-four. This is gonna make them negative sixty-nine. I don't really want to risk that, so I'm gonna just leave them alone. Sparkles is better now. So we got that going on. Are we trying to recruit any of these guys? Uh, no, 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 no. Just Sparkles. Hopefully that'll happen soon. And Dovier's hat's still in here from whenever Sparkles punched him and he chopped his pants and his hat all at the same time. Uh, we got some, some fancy new weapons, though. I don't think we're using any of them at the moment. We're not. We have this support weapon, this poor quality support weapon that is scary. Super scary. 10 damage, 10 round burst, accuracy of 86. Yeah. And that, what's the what's the range on it? 35, that's a pretty solid range. Carnal is pantsless. I think a Taylor's workbench is in order. We don't have crafting one yet, do we? No, we do. Um, no, work, work, architect, tailor's loom, weapons and armor, maybe because it's, okay, what about, is there like something that says clothes, it's medical resources, food, I know it's not going to be under food, I'm just checking, uh, canning station would actually be good, actually now that we have power, I don't know why I'm not getting a cooking stove in here. I think maybe a canning station would honestly be our best option right now. Um, if only... If only the thing was over on the left side, I could like tuck it right here, that would be really neat. Uh, but you know what, I'll put it here. Sure, there's a light there, I understand. Uh, we have a blight which destroyed all of our crops, which sucks. Uh, does this actually take... it does take power, that's fine though. Um, weapons and armor, goods and services, goods. Okay, here we go. Taylor's workbench. Let's get a Taylor's workbench coming in here. Uh, we're gonna make some pants, and we're gonna make some not pants, some shirts. An AM rifle. Uh, 45 damage, 45 range. This is the anti-mechanoid rifle. Not super interested in that. What is this? Copper wire. Normal. We still have this blaze phaser blade to hand out to someone. Um, there I go planting everything again. This guy needs steel bars and copper bars. We have all of those things. We also have steel and copper up here. Ready to go, waiting to go. Dead bodies everywhere. Uh, graves waiting to get dug. And all sorts of stuff. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh, let's start canning some food. I think. Just because it makes more sense because we don't have... Make tofu. What do we need for that? Beans. Neat. Uh, bulk tofu. What is bulk tofu? I'm assuming just more beans. Mass produce tofu more efficiently. Alright, canned food. Details. Uh, foods. Raw foods. Meals. Tofu. Okay. Uh, I would say no meat in your canned food. Because we're going to turn the meat into jerky. And then they can eat that if they want. Takes 10 raw food and 1 steel ore to make a can. Um, no meat though. And we're just going to do it, I guess, until we have 100? I almost want to just say do forever right now, but we'll, uh, we'll let it go for right now. Meat we're going to turn into jerky. You know what? I'm going to allow meat. I'm going to allow the meat. I'm gonna allow... What happens if I make canned food with human flesh? 
Granted, we're not getting any human flesh, but still. I'm, I'm kind of curious. I don't even see human on here. Is it not an option to can human meat? Human's usually down at the bottom. I probably just missed it. Okay. I'm okay with this. That's fine. <laughs> uh, Taylor's workbench actually needs power. Did not know that. Power. You guy will come up here. And bills. Bills make, uh, make pants. Make pants? What do we need for a poncho? Poncho needs... Uh, cloth. Cloth or wool. Do we have cloth coming in? We don't. We can plant some cloth, though. Which, you know, that's not a bad idea. To go ahead and get some cloth coming in. So let's go ahead and plant a little cloth patch, I guess. Whatever you want to call it. We'll, uh, we'll get it coming in. And this could also be a good, uh, a good cash crop kind of for us, I suppose. Where's, where's cloth? Cotton. Uh, that also means we'll need the loom. But we can take care of that when we get to it. Uh, poncho. No, no poncho. For right now. No poncho. Um... I think just I, w I want just pants, not necessarily jeans. What do jeans take? Cloth. I guess leather pants is going to be a distinction. Um, we'll make some some leather pants. We'll make five pairs of leather pants, I suppose. We don't have anywhere near enough leather, which means we need to get hunting, which means I need to get hunting. Yeah, that's me. Carnal needs one of those lungs, but we don't have any medicine for him, unfortunately. Uh, are we growing there? Oh, we have cotton up here. Never mind. I'm special. Delete the zone. Uh, we're not growing zero gum, though. Which we should be. We definitely should be. We'll grow uh, We'll grow a little bit of zero gum up here. Plants. Oh, wait. We can't because we're waiting on medicine right now. That's why we don't have any. All right. Things are actually getting hauled. Geo is just running all over the place. Oh my. This got built. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and create a stockpile, I suppose. I want to say we'll be able to fit a geothermal over this. That's four, and then it... Yes. Okay, so that's going to be a geothermal. So it will still fit there with a wall. That works. That makes me happy. Uh, so we need blocks. We have sandstone. Let's make it out of sandstone, I suppose. Stockpiles. Can't even see this. Okay, I want to clear everything right now. I don't want you storing stuff here. Store it up there. Um, structure. Sandstone blocks. There we go this coming in and then I think we'll probably have just the one door we'll have it like down here I guess you know we can have we can have one entrance here and then what we'll do is uh Cancel that. Actually, I guess we'll just... We'll do this. We'll put the door... Like there. Bring this over. And then this will be like a little airlock type area. For them to bring stuff to. So we'll cancel this and this and this. So these will be doors. And then we'll also have a door... Uh, here as well that will just come out into the main room because we're going to be using this area as a kitchen type area and then we'll have the uh, the dining hall over here alright that makes me a little more comfortable um, and we can vent just out this way I guess and we 
we are definitely going to need to chop down all these trees. Thankfully, we have plenty of sandstone to get stuff done. Tailor, uh, making leather pants. Do we have? Do we actually have a tailor? Um, it's low priority. I'm okay with that. Kay Jones, he's having some fun, painting some stuff. We have some canned food coming in. How much nutrition is this? I'm curious. Uh, seventy percent nutrition. This is ninety percent. Dried fruit is forty-two, so it's better than that, at least. Um. What about a salad, though? I am curious about the salad. Finished medicine. Okay, cool. Oh, that sounds like sparkles. Okay, Jones, you get out of there. These two died. Just, you, you go. It's okay. You just go. <laughs> you just go, K. Jonesy. You just, you don't mess with sparkles. You just, you don't mess with sparkles. That's what happens. You know what I guess we could do? I guess we could move this over here and then put the grill right here, but then that would actually completely block this area off. Uh, but we could do something like that once we move stuff around a little bit. Um, hmm. Spindle crib, arachnids, sparkles killed everyone. Why'd you die actually? Extreme malnutrition, extreme malnutrition. Sparkles is fine now. Sparkles is eating the survival meal that's in there. Uh, she's got corpses with her, which is, I guess, fine. She's okay. She's okay with it, guys. If she's okay with it, then I'm okay with it. We have a survival meal here. Uh, we have some some stuff that we can probably haul and, and take away. Did we get the cremation yet? No, we didn't. That might be good to get soon. Um, brewing would just help everyone, I think. We already have basic fuses, basic furniture. Could be good. Eh. Primitive weapon crafting, we don't really need. Mm. Let's I guess let's go for power two so we can get this geothermal coming up soon. Um, and then also maybe advanced communications wouldn't hurt either. High power turrets, no. Let's go uh power two, I think. Let's get, what does this give us? Heating and cooling solutions. Heated floors, conduit walls, powered doors. Agriculture 2 gives us fertilize the soil, fishing pier, composter, uh, which creates mulch from wood. The fishing pier wouldn't actually be that bad. Um, let's go agriculture 2 for right now. And then we'll go for power 2 after that. This area got finished, which is great. Cargo pods. This is such a nice change of pace. This is a lovely episode. Uh, lots of sugar. You know what? I'll, we'll, we'll definitely take the sugar. Geo can probably get all that hauled in in no time. Um, this cotton area. Oh, wait. We can plant now. We can plant our, uh, our Zeragum. That little freeze kind of kind of freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> uh, planks, we could we could plank this off. That way we don't have to worry about any like dirt getting in our food. I know that's like not really a a legitimate concern at the moment because it doesn't happen. I, at least I don't think it happens. Uh, but you never know. So I guess what we would do is just bring this over. Maybe maybe like this. But what would we do with this space? Um, I guess we could use this as some sort of storage for the time being. Geo is like just silly fast. Um, maybe we could use this as like meal storage once the meals get prepared. And then this will just be raw food. And then we could put a little cooler right here so we can like. This will hold five. Maybe if we bring it up to, I guess just keep it in line with this wall. This will hold 50 trays of food, I suppose. However you want to look at it. Uh, so if we did something like that, and then we'd use this room for cooking. We need a three for the stove, one for the grill. Um, I know we need four for the brewing. I think this room's probably big enough to do it all in, like this. Because we could put the, the stove, the canner, 
the grill, the baker, plague. This can be the door. Who's got the plague? Okay, Jonesy, why are you? Everyone's getting so sick. Ugh. Sparkles, I'm sorry, your room sucks. The cramped environment. Is it because I have all of these in here? Do you want to be the only prisoner? Is that is that what it is? Would that make you feel better if you were the only prisoner? Probably not. A light would probably help you out a little bit. <laughs> oh. Alright, so let's keep planning. Planning is good. Um, I kind of want to slightly mimic this shape a little bit. Even if it's only a tiny bit. Uh, so we'll bring this over, I guess. This will be our main entrance. And then we'll do something like this, I guess. Bring it down. That's a, a huge dining hall. I realize that's a huge dining hall, and I guess we'll bring this over for the time being. Alright. Maybe? I don't know how I feel about that. I think I'd want to bring this over. One more. And then do that. Clear that and that. 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 And that is one, two, three, four, five. So we can do that and have the door. Okay, I like that better. That works out better for me. Um, we can even round this edge off as well. Maybe. If I can if I can figure it out. Thought she was beating on the walls again. Well, uh, I don't really like that. <laughs> I don't really like it. I just did that. No. I need to keep that edge. Is this that big of a deal? No, not really. Not, not really. That's fine right there. I'm just trying to keep everything from being square. Squares are fine, there's nothing wrong with squares, but sometimes some weird shapes are, uh, are a little nice. How much sandstone do we have? We have not a lot of sandstone now that we did all that. Uh, we need to get some more hauled in. All of our graves are actually full. <laughs> Except for one. That is incredible. Uh, let's haul in a little bit of sandstone. We have too many people. I think we need to work on cremation soon as well. Um, yeah, we'll get we'll get some sandstone blocks made. Finish all this out of sandstone, I think. Um, get some more limestone hauled in as well. These visitors are, are fine, I guess. This tank we can move over here. It's nice to have everything hauled around at least. Um, anyone working on pants? No, no, not really. Pants are not anyone's concern. Pants are never anyone's concern, guys. Never. Hmm. Ten percent chance to recruit sparkles. That's not great, but you know what? It's uh, it's better than the usual like one or three percent I'm used to. Uh, tribes people attacking immediately. Uh, that's... I'm okay with this. I think we'll be fine. The angle of attack isn't super great. They'll outrange our shotgun turret, which means I don't think I would have anyone use it. Uh, Geo can come hang out back... I don't know, maybe in here? I don't know how many melee people they have. She can always run if she needs to. We'll put her, like, in here. Um, we'll put Jonesy up here. We'll put me... I don't really know. Like maybe there, I guess. And Dovier we'll put here. And Carnal we'll put uh, perhaps back here. Not really sure. 
spreading out quite a bit. Could be good, could be bad. Stack up behind Jonesy. Alright, a little bit of night combat. Never hurt anyone, I guess. Except everyone involved, potentially. There I go, lobbing shots at things. Missing things. Oh god. Did I just... Okay, okay it landed over here. I thought I, like, friendly fired on Cheddar, and then it, like, landed on top of me, and this whole section was just gonna explode. But everything seems to have worked out. Oh, that worked. Uh... That was carnal. I want you to go get Gubia, Scout. Who needs treatment? Carnal needs treatment. Are you okay, Carnal? The crossbow. Carnal, I want you to get out of there. I want you to get out of there. We'll understand. We'll understand. Midnight, go for these guys. Uh, Geo, you're doing a good job. Geo, take Mule down. There's a fire. I'm okay with the fire. Move over here and Dovier, switch to this door, that way you have full cover. K Jonesy is under attack. Okay, Midnight, you need to take out Mink now. Uh, you go get Krika. Alright, that should be good. Should be good. And Dovier, you get Tona. Oh, and Dovier's been shot to death? Oh my goodness, was that a Pila? He had a Pila, didn't he? Stabbed in the gut with a Pila in Dovier. Oh, that sucks so bad. That sucks so bad. Okay, you go for him. Don't help K. Jonesy. K. Jonesy's fine. Oh, that's not good. And Dovier, I'm sorry, buddy. But you did not make it out alive this episode or this season. Did I seriously just do that to K. Jonesy? I did. I did. Because this guy was still, like, slightly alive. Rescue K. Jonesy, please. Now that you broke his weapon and everything. And Dovier is going to need a place to live. We haven't even talked about a memorial area yet. I don't know where to put you, buddy. I don't know where to put you. Sarcophagus. We'll make you one out of limestone. Mm. Put you over here near the pup. Actually, no. Go go heal up K. Jonesy. Go a little bit faster. Are you okay? Geo should be fine. Geo's fine. That sucks so bad. Pilas are super strong. I thought that that one shot would have taken this one out. So uh, he could move over here to stun the guy that was attacking uh, Jonesy. And then that guy would get stunned. Jonesy would be able to win the fight. This guy would be dead because that little plasma ball would have exploded. Uh, but it didn't work out. The plasma ball exploded like half a second too late. And that Pila came in on Endovier from what I could tell. It might have been an arrow. It could have been a, a Pila. But when I checked, or last time I noticed his HP was at like 70% or 60%. So I figured he would have been okay for another minute or two there. Uh, but apparently I was wrong. Colonel needs treatment as well. And we need to make sure we have another doctor. Um, that's Geo, that's K. Jonesy, who's, who's down and out. And who actually needs a new weapon now. You're actually incapacitated from the plague, I guess? Maybe? This isn't going well. This isn't going well at all. Well, I'm canning food, I guess. So at least we're going to have meals, I suppose. Geo is fully healed. We got some cargo pods. K. Jonesy can walk now. Cargo pods with meat and alpha beavers that are eating all the trees. 
Geo's Geo's got this. Geo is. I'm sorry, Andovir. We need the we need the clothes right now. Normally, I wouldn't strip you, but. one of those days. Endovier. An engraving on the sarcophagus resembles Gabriel and Dovier Lane being killed by Hornet Minyoka seemingly without remorse on July 3rd, 5500. The sun is setting behind them in a symbolic echo of the event. The work suggests the concept of patience. The smiling head of a blacksmith watches over all. Manhunter pack. Excellent. Muffalo's excellent. It's just one though. It's not just one. It's oh god. K. Jonesy run. Okay, Jonesy, run. Run to the shotgun turret. Guys, I think we're going to lose to a Manhunter pack of Muffalo. How amazing is that? I don't I don't even know right now. Just get out here, Carnal. Come over here. Geo, I, like, can Geo fight this off if I, like... Where are they going? Why is K. Jonesy safe right now? Why are they coming for me? This isn't gonna end well. Geo, are you winning? Geo's kind of winning with Carnal's. Oh, okay, Jones, he's down. You almost shot the the hen, Midnight. Midnight, you can't help much in this situation. You're gonna kill everyone. Rescue, don't, don't rescue. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh, oh god! Oh god! This isn't. Geo's fine at least. Ge Geo's been beaten to death. You guys, I cannot believe the like chain raids that we survived. We survived so many raids back to back to back. And you know what takes us down? A Manhunter pack of Muffalo. This game is nonsense and I love it. Well, you never expect the Muffalo. At least this one's going to die. Maybe. Hopefully. Is anyone going to get better? I'm curious if either K. Jonesy, Midnight, or Carnal will get better to stand up and then... <gasps> You killed the dog? Can you save us, Avalanche? Have you been trained to rescue? You haven't. We were trying to train you to haul. Go to midnight. Go to midnight. Let's kill them. Kill all of them. You know what? I'm going to watch this whole place burn, you guys. I'm on fire. That auto save. Well, you guys, <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna wrap up the first season of modded Rimworld Hildegard Epic. Uh, even on rough is is quite rude. Uh, like I said before, I was not expecting to get taken out by a Manhunter pack. Uh, I guess because we were doing so well on the raids, because we had the the subjugation crystal going for us, and then uh, K. Jonesy was a good shot, Carnal finally got a good pistol, uh, Geo could just kind of like run around, flank, attack, like backstab, run away, and do sort of hit and run tactics. K. Jonesy's dead, I'm somehow still alive. Uh, and then the, the super OP weapon I gave myself. So that, you know, that was a... Uh, yeah, that happened. That happened. Uh, so, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna take a day, a day or so off. There will be a new modded RimWorld season starting up, either on on Monday or Tuesday, and we're gonna get right back into it. Um, possibly playing on the same difficulty setting because you know I I do enjoy the challenge, especially now that I know uh, what to expect from the mod pack, having played through. And experienced most of it um, yeah well I mean sparkles could just decide to join the colony and save the day perhaps or a wanderer just like randomly joins rescue kills everyone rescues carnal maybe no uh, well <laughs> that's gonna wrap it up 
Unfortunately. Who's exhausted? Carnal's exhausted. I bet he's been laying there all day. I want to see him, like, break. That's fine, break. And kill everyone. Yeah, I'm not going to wait for him to die, <laughs> if that's what you're wondering. Uh, so, yeah, again, I'll start up a new season of Modded Rimmold, um, either Monday or, or Tuesday. Uh, and I'm just I'm going to keep using the same list I have for you guys' names. We're going to continue on to the next people. Uh, and we're going to start off the colony with another three people. And again, possibly on Hildegard Epic, I might try out Staring as Sadistic this time, just to kind of see how that goes instead. Um, and we will try not to die. Muffaloes are rude. Carnal's collapsed. I think he was already on the ground. <laughs> Muffaloes are rude, you guys. I just, uh, I can't believe it. Uh, anyways, that's going to, again, wrap up this season. I will see you guys in a few days. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of your weekend. And hopefully, even though we lost, this episode was still a little bit entertaining for you guys. That's going to be it for me. As always, thanks for watching, and have a good one.